You may recall that I mentioned about the world's first computerized smartwatch made by Seiko and I did a video on that but also mentioned that Seiko made a watch TV that was featured on 007 Octopussy movie. Well, I'm not going to spend $1,200 on a Seiko TV watch. But I kept looking for a watch TV and discovered, stumbled on this one in eBay and paid just pocket chains basically for the wearable TV, VTV 101. The uh, year that this was manufactured is 2004, so it's not nearly as old as the Seiko, but it is a cute little watch, wristwatch size portable television and it's color. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what we've got here. I'll uh, show you what's on the box. No, and nothing too exciting. It has the specs here and it, it does VHF and UHF. Um, and it has phase lock tuning, synthesizer tuning. It's got mono sound. The antenna is built into the earphone cord and uh, there's a charging connection. It has an internal battery. There is no speaker built into it, so it only uses earphones. And uh, the earphone plug is a special plug, so you can't plug it into um, a powered amplifier or anything because the antenna is built into the cord. It's got a clock built in, as you'll see in a moment. It uses a 550 milliamp battery lithium polymer battery it says 4.2 volt but i believe the battery is actually three point something 3.4 pretty sure something like that so it uses uh, has an external power supply that has batteries and then it also has an ac adapter that's the uh, those are the, the general specs for the wrist television, the wearable TV. Thankfully, this unit came with the manual, and you can see the instructions there, all of that good stuff. If anybody needs a copy of this manual, I'd be glad to scan it and uh, email it to you. I know that's always a big deal with this kind of collectible stuff, is trying to find a manual for it. So let's go straight to the watch. And you can see that there's a battery hanging off of it here. And that's because, because this is the battery that was in the TV. And this battery is completely dead. In fact, it's almost shorted. It's so dead. So what I did was I trimmed off the connector and installed an external battery until I can order. Actually, I have ordered a battery the same dimensions as this. And I think uh, 3.7, is that right? Yeah, 3.7 volt battery, this size exactly. And so it'll fit right in there inside. This is a little bit thick, so I can't, it's thicker than this battery. So I can't just put this battery in there. Plus this is only 150 milliamp and this is 550 milliamp. So with a 550 milliamp battery, I believe the instructions say you get about an hour of playtime on the TV, which is pretty, pretty amazing when you think about it. And of course, I'd only get a couple of minutes with the uh, 150 milliamp. You can see that the clock is uh, set and it is actually the correct time. This is a an LCD with a reflective, gold reflective backing on the clock. That's why you can see it, it's not a lamp. And in fact, in the darkness, you can't see the clock at all. So it's a reflective um, LCD. But that's the watch, that's the, that's the TV itself. It's all self-contained with an internal battery, or in this case, a little external battery. It comes with the watch band you just snap it right in there and put this puppy on your wrist. 
and you can watch TV for an hour or longer if you want to watch the TV with the external holder that also has a battery battery compartment. Here's the four AA batteries and the uh, portable little, this all snaps together. Uh, this little portable holder will let you snap the TV into that and then you plug the external power right there into the TV and you can watch for several hours. So those AA batteries will last for a long time. And these AA batteries will also charge this uh, internal battery on the watch when it's plugged in like this. So this is a cool little thing you can set on in your chair and, and watch TV. Then of course it has an external power supply which plugs into the battery pack. This AC cord does not plug into the TV, it's too big. You can see the difference between the two cords there. So, um, kind of a unique setup. And then the, the antenna and earphones that I mentioned to you, you can look at this plug here, very unusual. Kind of let you get a close up look there. It's got this outer sleeve and I believe that's the antenna. And then you've got the earbuds here that will, you can use to hear the sound. And uh, you have to use the earbuds to get sound out of the TV. And you have to use the earbud cord in order for the antenna to hook up, in order for the TV to work. It has to have an antenna, external antenna. So I have a TV station working in here in the, in the shop. So what we're going to do is just we're going to plug in the antenna and we're going to turn the TV on. And we're on channel 13 right now. Let me get some, get the antenna moved around here. And you could see that there's a TV show playing there. I wish you could hear the sound. This show is a nighttime scene, so it looks dark, and it is because it is dark. I uh, wish we could get to a commercial. Maybe what I ought to do is let me stop the camera and switch to another channel. Might get a little better, better, uh, brighter picture. It does have a volume control. And you, you can change the channels, of course. Let me switch down to channel 8 or 9. I don't remember what channel I had on in my station here. There's channel 13. It looks like the Waltons are. It looks like John Boy Walton. Yeah, it's John Boy Walton. My signal's not real great right here where I'm recording this, but clearly it's a, a picture. So let me switch... Uh, TV channels. Okay, there we have channel 10. And uh, you can see color. And I think channel 12 might still be working. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll go back down to channel... Well, that's volume back down to uh, channel 10. So it's uh, the sound is very weak. You might be hearing the room and across the room there, the uh, other TV that's on tuned to this channel. And uh, but there's your wearable TV by NHJ Limited, Tokyo, Japan. The wristwatch size portable television VTV-101. What do you think?